Hey guys, I remember a number of years ago reading about a, a guitar pedal modification uh, on one of the forums. Someone mentioned a modification called IC stacking. So what actually is the guitar pedal modification called IC stacking? I remember reading about this some time ago on one of the forums and I've been meaning to give it a shot ever since. So the term literally means to stack one IC on top of the other. So you have a sandwich that looks like this. They'd obviously need to be soldered together because the uh, you, you can't just sit one on top of the other. The there needs to be a, a solid um, a, a solid connection between those legs. But it would actually work because if you think about it on a schematic level, you'd have an input. The two inputs would be connected together. The two outputs would be t connected together. The power and the ground would be connected together. It it should actually work. And I'm thinking I might throw this at Eric and see if he wants to do a follow-up video um, and talk about the actual schematic side of things and the mathematical side of things, if you actually put two ICs together in this manner, um, what's, actually, what's actually going on on a deeper level. But for this, I wanna actually hear what it actually sounds like, whether it's even worth investigating any further, because I actually have not done this uh, modification before. So it's gonna be a first for me, as it may be a first for you. So first thing we need to do is actually solder these two ICs together. As I said, they aren't going to stay together very well if they are not soldered. And you do need to take into consideration as well if you're going to be doing this modification, you need to use the same IC, not necessarily the exact same model IC, but the same type, so a single op amp or a dual op amp. You can't put a single op amp with a dual op amp because the pins will not match up properly. So let's do that first, let's solder those two together. You have to excuse my soldering here because I'm actually trying to do this completely from behind the camera. Um, it looks like a good shot on the video. That's the only reason why I'm doing it, so you can see nice and close what's going on. So let's chuck this into the pedal, and the pedal in question is actually the Distortion Plus. I find the Distortion Plus, and you'll have to excuse this phrase, is rather transparent, um, purely because um, it's a very simple circuit and um, you just get, you kind of get out what you put in with it because there's not much going on. There's, it's not a complicated circuit. If you change something, you usually can hear the change very, uh, very clearly. So I'll do a sound comparison now of one chip versus two chips, and let's see if we can actually hear any difference at all. So I always say at the end of these videos that it's a little difficult for me to actually give you a conclusion um, as to whether it did sound different or not because there is a delay in between uh, when I've put the first chip in and then I've turned the amp off, took the IC out, put the other IC in, etc, etc. There's a delay in time so I can't, hear the, I can't hear the immediate difference whereas you will have heard the immediate difference in, the, in, in this video and if my opinion changes I'll leave a comment but from what I could hear, and roughly speaking, didn't sound like there's much difference at all. But then I was thinking of one particular situation where it might actually make a difference, and that's if you actually use two different single op amps together, or dual op amps or whatever. Um, you use two different chips together, you'd have tonal characteristics influenced by from one chip and the other chip. So I think that's worthwhile actually testing now, just to see if there actually is a difference, if it is worthwhile doing. I'm gonna put a UA741 with a TL071, two pretty common generic uh, single op amp uh, chips. And then I'm gonna compare the two different ICs with the two, uh, with the two of the same ICs. So the two that are the same are UA741s, two of those, and the other one will be a TL071 with a UA741. Let's give that a try.
Hmm, so that didn't work very well at all. You could probably hear that top end sizzle that was going on there, not in a good way, uh, it sounded like noise. Could have something to do with the uh, input impedance or the fact that the ICs are so close to each other, perhaps some sort of parasitic capacitance or parasitic noise that's going on. Either way, it doesn't sound very good. So if you're gonna do this, um, if you're gonna do this mod, make sure that uh, you test it, obviously. Um, use a socket. Don't sold it directly to the top of a commercial, uh, the top of a commercial IC because you may not be able to get it back out again, and you're probably not going to want that horrible noise um, coming through. It's a, it's not a very good mod at all. But it was interesting and uh, pretty inventive as well. I never would have thought of doing something like that before. And there may be combinations that actually work really well. The, the particular combination I chose didn't. The the LM741 and the um, and the uh, TL071 don't seem to like each other in a Distortion Plus. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video or found it interesting. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried this mod before, if you've been successful with this mod, uh, more successful than I was. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.